Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're gonna do a let's play and review for Survive VR game on the Steam Store for the HTC Vive. It's gonna release in less than 24 hours uh, tomorrow during lunchtime, more than likely. And I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game. And I'm gonna do a full playthrough because this is a very short game. Uh, I had to do a Windows 7 compat compatibility fix to get this to run on the Oculus. And okay. obviously some of the instructions are in Chinese, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And then it wants you to grab a flashlight. And it says something about cycling through, I believe. Like this, and then it says to teleport, and that wants us to teleport over there. And now we put the hammer down here. You can pretend you're, you're hammering, and then we go to the door. So you can teleport in certain areas, uh, but they're kind of walled off. So there's only a there's usually only a small area you can teleport within. So as you can see, we can teleport around here. Sort of, not really. Okay. We'll go ahead and touch this right here. And look at the picture here. I don't know who, what that picture is of. His daughter, maybe? I don't know. Okay, the game starts now. And we can reload our weapon. And there's that. <laughs> See, there's funky animation. She like went through a wall. <laughs> the bullets go like in slow motion. You can actually see them in the air. The hammer is, is worthless here, so. I don't think there's anything you can do but shoot, so let's go ahead and shoot. But sometimes they hit, and sometimes they hit the target, sometimes they don't. But I can see a short hit the target. Okay, so I think you're supposed to teleport now. Well, I'm trying to teleport. There's this message above the headset though in red. Something says something about something didn't load. You can barely read it. It's it's subtract. Okay. I seem to be stuck here. This didn't happen last time. Maybe I'm not... Sorry, it wasn't pointing high enough. Anyways, now you can grab this item here. And also, put the hammer down over here. Okay, put the barrier up. I don't I have no idea why. You don't really need the flashlight for it, for anything, to be honest. The screaming is very loud. Wow. It's hard to tell when they hit the target just because it's so loud. There's teleport only, there is no turn or anything else. You can only teleport in w only within certain areas of the node. So you can see there's a zombie coming behind me. I'm running out of bullets. I don't think it really matters.
really hurt my ears. I have to <laughs> <play it. laughs> Even then it <sighs> The melee physics is pretty bad. The bullet physics are bad as well. The animations look really bad. <laughs> the actual the actual location doesn't look bad. Uh, it's running not so great because I did the Windows 7 compatibility fix. I think otherwise it would run pretty good. That's just my thoughts on that. I know that when you do Windows 7 fix, it really brings down the... the <laughs> either okay let's see oh wow am i missing something come on oh okay so open this up for some reason and get these for some reason i don't you don't actually use these as far as i can tell they're just there. To <laughs> Please help me. How did you get here? I'm trying to go out of here. What? So you see that? I think right now there's an animation going on. You can't really see that. Then you get his gun. His gun, like, has unlimited ammo, it seems like. Um, I can't recommend this game at any price, to be honest with you. I, I'd give this game a 4 out of 10. If it were free-to-play, maybe I'd give it a 5 out of 10. As a free-to-play game, it's, it's not also not very good, but it wouldn't be that bad for free-to-play. It could be an okay download if you want to waste 5 minutes or so. But it's a paid game. Just I just can't recommend it. I'm not even sure what the price is. But if the price is low, let's say it's like two dollars, I'd probably give it a four out of ten. If it's like twenty dollars, I'd probably give it a a three point five. If it's like thirty dollars, I'd probably give it a three. Uh, it's just not a very good game, and it's very short. On top of that, oh sorry, you're supposed to get the gun. Okay. So it can use the gun. Now we go to the elevator, and we put our hand here, and then we want to get our little X back in our hand, because guess what's going to happen? By the way, the first time I noticed what was going on, it's a little bit, now I know what's going on.
I cannot recommend this game. I, I would give this a negative recommendation if they charge any money for this. If it were free to play, I might give it a 5 out of 10, maybe. I'm being generous. So yeah, this is uh, Survive VR coming out tomorrow for the HTC Vive. If you're not going to see, you have to do a Windows 7 compatibility fix. And yeah, I don't recommend it. I'm Fast Lawyer. Thanks for watching the one today. Goodbye.